Hello, Inka. How are you today? I'm doing great, thank you. All right. So, we'd just like to catch up with you and find out a little bit about you and your data science journey. Mm. So, tell us about yourself. Okay, so my name is Yinka Fadansi. I'm a graduate of Electrical and Electronics Engineering from the University of Lagos. I'm an active data scientist on the Zindi platform. I'm known as Dr. Fad on the platform. I'm also a data scientist um, with Stambic IBTC Bank, a member of the Standard Bank Group. Wonderful. So we'd like to know, how did you start your data science journey? My journey started about three years ago um, in a three months boot camp in India, Hyderabad. So I had the opportunity to work with facilitators such as professors and alumni of Harvard University. Um, just like any boot camp, it's intense and this one didn't fall short of the standard. But all in all, it was a very useful experience and for me, I consider that my introduction to data science. Wonderful. So what would you say was the key ingredient that, led, that has led you to success in data science so far? Um, in my friend's word, it's the fact of me owning the data sets. I mean, my friend says I am one with the data. So for me to start any data science problem, I try to understand as much as possible um, in the data. And one area that is typically overlooked in data science is the domain expertise. So for me, any problem, I, the number one step is to understand the domain, read as much as possible as far as research papers from researchers in that um, industry. Uh, yeah, so that's, for me, is a critical side. Great. And what are your favorite and most challenging parts of the data science process? I'll start with my favorite. Okay. Uh, my favorite side, like I earlier mentioned, is the exploratory side. Because this is actually, for me, the most important. Um, because when you've owned um, the understanding of the data sets, you can then create useful features that would help you model the problem you're trying to solve. My least favorite is the data ranking and data preparation. Popularly known, this is where data scientists spend about 80% of their time. Um, I don't like this side because it's usually tedious and involves a lot of work. Thank you, Inka. This has been so insightful. Before we go, we'd like to ask you, what advice do you have for upcoming data science people who would like to, you know, start their journeys and also people who, you know, have a bit of experience but are looking for ways they can grow? Okay, for new entrants into data science, I would suggest, first of all, you build that passion within you. So, I mean, just literally asking experienced hires um, what data science is about or just leveraging Google, you know, asking basic questions like what data scientists do, what skill sets are required. I discovered data scientists in this way, just with an interest in data analysis and data and research. Combining these two and asking Google, what can I do with this? I discovered data science as a career path. So I did some more digging and then the one that actually hooked me was the Harvard Review that said data scientist is the sexiest job of the 21st century. So for starters, get your passion up. Um, once you've had this keen interest in data science, you now need to level up and move up to your skills acquisition. And my recommendation is to leverage the plethora of online resources. Um, you can subscribe to a bootcamp or a data science certificate program that will just basically give you the um, introductory knowledge across data science in terms of mathematics, statistics, programming, and um, some domain um, knowledge, you know. This is actually very critical. And don't be overwhelmed with the amount of information you're faced with. Um, just try to understand the basics. Don't go too deep into the maths and the stats, you know. And once you're done with this stage of skills acquisition, then you need to get dirty. And by getting dirty, means actually building models. Today, the internet provides a lot of resources. Zindi is a good platform where you have different competitions, ones who, um, ones which have reward attached to them and one which is just for knowledge. So get your hands dirty, 
participate in these competitions and you improve your skills. Now, for experienced hires, they already have a skill set, right? Um, I think what they now need to do is to become global. You know, test themselves on the global pool. Like I mentioned, Zidi is another good platform where you can achieve this. Um, for me, I have learned the most from solving problems um, on data science competitions. And I think experienced hires will leverage the same um, opportunity if they indeed participate in competitions. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much, Inka. This has been very insightful. We wish you success in your journey going forward, and we hope to catch up with you some other time. Thank you very much. Thank you.